They said we could bring our own tools, so I took liberties. All right, Thomas, we got one more stop to make before we can hit the hotel. We need to find another Home Depot that had cheaper batteries. I have to rebuy all my Milwaukee batteries because you can't take lithium ion stuff on the plane with you. Well, I was feeling pretty confident about this build, but now I can't even open this new battery pack. So, I don't know, confidence level is dropping. What's up everybody? My name is Garrett Hartle. Welcome back to Snake Discovery. So we're actually here at Snake Discovery because they're having a huge cage build off with 10 different YouTubers. So it was like invite only. I brought my plus one, Thomas. We have some very stiff competition. We're here a little early for the competition because I want to snoop around and see what kind of like supplies they have available that are not maybe actually available. Oh, good. Okay, here, check it out. Okay, so see the heat, the HT, that means heat treated. There's no MB on there. If you're using pallets, you don't want the MB that's methyl bromide or something, but it means they're chemically treated. So that's good. Look at that wood, guys. That's a freaking jackpot. How perfectly aged it is. It's all nice and gray. Oh, look, here's the dumpsters. Hey, we're not snooping. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Is this your guys? Whole back thing right yes. here? All yep. the way across to the other side? Pretty much. That's uh, we don't own the building over there. So our greenhouse is right there. Everything that way, like the white over and around is ours. And then from the greenhouse right there back is ours. But like this over yep, to that the strip. shed is yours? Yep. Real? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be cool. hopefully like three years from now. We want to expand outside for the summer. Like so, outdoor enclosures? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. That's cool, man. Uh, I'm so proud of you guys. Well, thank but you. Right now, I'm gonna go look in your dumpster. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Ed. Oh, well, this is cool. Look at this. Yeah, we just like to spray paint our garbage before we throw it away. That's pretty cute. <laughs> I like that's cute garbage, man. I did notice like you have a couple of pallets here. I don't want to like, give anything away or whatever, but is that like something I can grab? So anything no, that's like okay. yep. back here. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't even know if we're gonna have to steal the neighbor's trash. Honestly, they have lots of beautiful trash right here. Oh man, <laughs> look at this. These are gonna be the enclosures that we're building from. Art supplies. You can do so much with this. It's gonna be tough to use in six hours. I predict maybe if someone gets into that and they're like, you know, not budgeting their time well, they might have some issues like late in the game. You know what I mean? It's a tough schedule. Six hours is plenty of time to decorate a cage, but if you're building anything custom and it includes dry times, anything with silicone or foam basically, that's, uh, I mean, most of that stuff has to cure overnight. So my plan, I can't change at all. I'm 100% dedicated to it. In fact, I was nervous about being as dedicated to my plan as I am because it relied on like, situations and supplies and stuff here being right. Oh man, if they're wrong, I'm like my plan B is just nothing. <laughs> you know what I think should be the twist? We all do it blindfolded. <laughs> And see what we got one. How are you? Yeah. Can we it. smash? Oh, oh done, it. done, Broke, done, done. done. You sweating there. I am sweating. <laughs> I don't know what I need here. Which piece goes well with our thing? Oh, I could for sure get it in there, right? Right? I might have to get inside the enclosure, but I'm not opposed to doing it. Oh, it'll work. It'll work. It'll fit. It'll fit. We'll make it fit. There's Almost nothing that I need from there that is in my build that there's not 10 of so I think we'll be okay There's only three of these so I grabbed them So you'll have six hours to make your enclosure as good as it can be and you'll have your first pick of items I think we'll start grabbing supplies that you need in I'm gonna walk over here five four three two one go <laughs> this much. So I'm looking for like a piece of broken glass or plexi. Perfect. Will that work for you? That's gonna work. Awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, let's hide it so no one sees it yet. <laughs> Why I bought that piece. Ah! I need that, I need that. Yeah. Oh, 
I think we got most of what we need here. I might need another pallet. It's also super hot in here. Feels like a reptile zoo. How you feeling? I haven't even started yet. I was looking for you. How you feeling? I'm just getting a feel for it. Looking at what I've got to work with. You know, just counting my lucky stars that I'm not Garrett Hartle. Adam, what kind of angle are you taking? Um, the one where I'm just pretending I really know what I'm doing, and at the end it's gonna be like, I put a lot of thought into this, but really I'm just grabbing all the cool stuff and hope it works out. I'm waiting on the background to dry so we can, we try to just put a little so we don't have to carve too much, because it's gonna take forever to set, yeah, so. Time's the enemy right now. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> nope. It just has to feel right. At some point, it'll feel right. All right, we're gonna go test fit this, but this will be the inside wall right there. So let's go see how it fits in the cage. Hey, they're back. All right, the top tight on this top corner and the opposite bottom. Just a little bit. How are you looking, Brian? Oh, decent. Nice question. Thanks. Hey, we're having a good time here. We're about to do some painting. I'm, getting, I'm channeling my Bob Ross. The hair started to actually grow and curl. See, you can tell. I'm gonna put all the colors on the bottom of the screen for you, and we're gonna make some happy little accidents today. I'm learning a lot just by watching everybody do their builds. All right, we're fairly late in the competition at this point. How are you feeling? Not confident. I'm doing all the parts I know how to do. There's one major part I've never done before at all, and that's make fake rocks. So that's what is left. I'm really hoping I can pull it off. The one thing we didn't consider is whether or not we can actually put it in. Oh, look at that, it's just about perfect. Oh, I need the hole saw and I need the other. So adjustments done this late in the game. As much as I can. Literally on the dot, like to the second. Unbelievable. It was a mad dash. We were running from the beginning till the very end. We even had uh, Cusco and and uh, Clint. I think taking a little pity on me there at the end and like cutting the screen for my bioactive separation and Clint was helping me like, you know, pull some, some stuff out so we could get our cord out of there and everything and just helping me to pull it off. So really awesome time, fun experience. What we did was I created some fake rock walls. There's like a, a base foundation in the back. We were able to find this awesome piece of plexi on an old advertising sign that they were tossing out. I sanded it down and glazed the back. I hope whoever gets this, all you would have to do is put a little small LED strip behind this thing and it would actually backlight so it looked like window light was coming in. I think that would really add to the mood. I made an extra big window sill so that the snakes could actually get up on top of it or, you know, re recline underneath it. It's nice, it's very, like I can actually feel it's very cool down here and especially behind this water with this large uh, metal thing here so you have a great gradient here. We used uh, a little workbench area. There's actually some antique tools that were handed down to me from uh, my grandfather. It just reminds me of, of history and past and I hope to be able to impart that to whoever is generous enough to bid on this cage. And then under the workbench we actually rigged up a hinge mechanism just with wood and screws 
so that uh, the workbench can hinge upward and it creates a hide spot for the snake. You can see we've cut away some corners here. They can hide behind it um, and they can really get some good privacy in there, but the keeper can still get in there and have access to their animals. This rope element across the top is just to give them some, some real exercise, uh, you know, as far as hanging on to that and cruising across there. That way they maintain a good healthy body shape. I'm pretty happy with it. I, I couldn't, I can't wait to see someone, you know, see what kind of species they want to throw in here. I just think it's so cool that, uh, that Snake Discovery put this whole thing on, invited us to their zoo before it's even open, and has obviously invested a ton of planning, work, and effort, and energy into sharing it all with us. You know, we have people who have been, are relatively new to YouTube, people have been around for a long time, so it, it really wasn't like a clicky good old boys thing. They, they really brought a lot of different people out here. It's just a great mix of awesome people.